Well, Jim, we can find all kinds of things in the garbage, but this was quite the discovery. Tonight, the finder wants your help to find the rightful owner of, yes, a prosthetic leg. So I was putting all of my bulk trash out on the curb. It was a typical Monday afternoon and Emily Corona was taking out her trash. I had gone inside to grab another load and I came back out. Stumbling across an unusual sight on the curb in front of her house. There's a leg in my garbage can. <laughs> it was just laying there. A prosthetic leg sticking out of her garbage. I knew right away. Um, my brother's an amputee, so I knew that it was a prosthetic leg and I knew that it did not belong in the garbage. <laughs> a lost limb with a leopard socket and painted toenails. Emily can't help but wonder who it belongs to. They don't typically get thrown away. Emily went to police. I was hoping someone had reported it missing and nobody had, so they asked me to just hold on to it. We called police too, a Metro officer telling me to report a missing or stolen prosthetic. The person would need the serial number on the limb. Ultimately, I, I knew that there was an owner. A quick search on the internet led Emily to a local lab that made part of the leg, Prosthetic Center of Excellence. They know who it is. And um, at this point in time, are unable to get a hold of that person. We tried the company. They told me they called the patient, but the number was disconnected. Still, Emily knows it was lucky she was the one to find the leg. Someone else wouldn't have known the value. I told my brother, I said, you know, if this had ended up in my neighbor's trash, it may have stayed there and gone to the dump. And that would be so sad. So prosthetic limbs are uniquely built for their owners. The parts are generally not reused in the United States. Instead, they are shipped to other countries to be reused. If you happen to know who this prosthetic leg belongs to, you can shoot me an email or tweet me. Kelsey Thomas.